It seems like there's no sun left in the world. It's crazy. I just got back from my holiday trip home to Minnesota. I was there for 10 days. I didn't see the sun one time. And for a 24 hour period during that trip, I flew to Florida to do the, the citrus parade. And it was not sunny that morning when I was doing the parade. And the day that I was there, it was sunny back in Minnesota. And now I'm back home and I've seen the sun maybe twice. And today you can see nothing. There's nothing but fog. I try not to drink coffee. I love coffee, but I try not to drink it because I don't really think it's good for me. So I drink tea. But when it's like this, all I can think about is coffee. So I thought I would take you along to my favorite coffee place. I hope I don't hit anything in the fog because <laughs> I can't see anything. To see cars coming. I hope it's not a great car because I won't see it. Oh, what a gloomy, gloomy morning. Oh, what a positively yucky day. It is a London fog. Got the benefits of being in London. There we are. My favorite coffee place. This is not so crowded. This place could be packed. Because I'll let you in on the secret. They got the best coffee in town. Here we are. Yes. Oh, the temptation. I tried. I failed. A large coffee with room at the top. Yep. And also a oatmeal. Is that oatmeal raisin? Okay, I have my coffee. I had a really good sandwich. <laughs> and I bought myself an oatmeal raisin cookie for later. Good coffee. Oh, they have good coffee here. So now I'm on my way to the post office to mail off your CDs and DVDs. And also a package that I'm sending home to my mom and dad and my brother because as I found out when I was shopping there with them, grocery shopping, they can't get a lot of the really great imported kind of foods that we get here. So I made a big batch of homemade chicken noodle soup and I couldn't find the really nice little German egg noodles. I was very frustrated all over. I couldn't find them so. I'm sending imported German egg noodles through the mail to my mom and dad. Okay, so the cookie's supposed to be for later, but I decided it would taste really good with the coffee. <laughs> I haven't really started my New Year's resolution, healthy eating. Have you? <laughs> I will, though. I'll get going. I finish this cookie. <sighs> okay, so I've done what I constantly do. <laughs> I come to the post office exactly in the hour when they are closed for lunch. I do that all the time, but this time I thought I had left enough time, but I think I ate too slowly. Oh no, I ate too fast at the coffee house. That's why I'm here too soon. Still too many minutes to go to drop off all these CDs. So, uh, but I can weigh my German noodles. <laughs> I think that's a sentence I've never said before. Oh, still a little bit left in here. Can you believe I drank this whole thing so fast? I feel like a coffee addict. Okay, five pounds, 7.3 ounces. That's a lot of noodles. Now I have to come back here. I'm not waiting around for 15 minutes. I don't have that kind of patience. Or time. Do you ever feel like there's never enough time in a day? I'm all buzzed now because I drank a big cup of coffee. Ooh, I got a coffee buzz. After drinking that big, huge cup of coffee yesterday, I slept really badly. <laughs> 
So today I'm really tired. So my solution is I'm going to get another cup of coffee. Yeah, I know. There's all kinds of scientific arguments either for and against. And they vacillate back and forth constantly. One day coffee is the best thing in the world for you. The next day it's terrible for you. I don't know. I just know it's really tasty. I'm also going to mail my mommy and my daddy the almost six pounds of German imported noodles. <laughs> and delicious. Okay, to mail the noodles. Look at that. A little bit of sunshine has come out. Face the truth. <laughs>